Hello again, it is the touchline here on Y254 at Y254 channel is where you can find us on social media and tell us everything that you need in the world of sports. We have been discussing major things in the world of sport and now we take our focus solely to the game of rugby considering that Kenya is in Canada to play the Vancouver Sevens after also last week they played in the Los Angeles Sevens for the first time. I'm Robert Osoro. As usual, I've got Fred Openda here in the studio with me. And joining me here on the center is none other than Samuel Mwana Wanjuguna. Sam, mm. how are you, my friend? Well, I'm fine. How are you doing? Great. Your highlight of the week in the world of sport was? I think uh, I think the fact that uh, some teams yeah. have shown a lot of improvement, yeah. whereas others like Tottenham Hotspurs yeah. need a, have a long way to go. Uh, have a long journey. <laughs> have a long journey. <laughs> 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 uh, you know the Oswaldo uh, Sema, Msafiri Nyali Bandarini. Those guys are not even close to. <laughs> to <laughs> I think I, I think uh, it's because uh, yeah. they've they've had. A few, let's say, a few injuries, but that's not an excuse, actually. Uh, they, they, should, they it, should, it, should, it shouldn't be an excuse. That's no. not an excuse. They have yeah. a, a, a proper team. Uh, they yes. have proper players who mm -hmm. can uh, grind out for results. <laughs> but, but, but then again, Tim Cruel yes. is really good. And, and, and that, that, yeah. game, that game again showed us how good he is. Yes. He, he saved penalties from Martial. Yeah. He saved from Rashford. And now he saved he's from... He's known as a mm. penalty stopper. Come with me. He's, he's good. He's good. Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, a, he's a good goalkeeper, actually. Again, well. again uh, mm. people have been criticizing Norwich City, but mm. again, his, their quality has shown it's the mm. team at the bottom of the table but they're but playing they're football quality. as if it's a team at the top, top you know? the and, and, and and that's amazing to watch yeah. well that was his highlight of the week there we have only deduced that it was Tottenham losing to Norwich in that uh, fake uh, penalty shooter but now it is all about the rugby sevens Kenya sevens are in number 11 as they head on to the Vancouver seven starting tonight where they will be <coughs> playing Spain Ireland and the all blacks tell me if this is not the time that we can go direct to the main cup quarters i mean there's, there's been a lot of um hope and expectation with this team this season yes but, but again sometimes the, the results have not been what we expect mm -hmm. um if you look at the the los angeles uh, series mm -hmm. um there's a game we didn't even have one try you know mm -hmm. so that, uh, there are a lot of questions around it but i think ireland and spain are winnable games mm -hmm. all blacks there is where questions are can we go to to to, to with them with them they've, yeah. they've been good even this season they're playing very well uh, south africa demolition did some demolition <laughs> last weekend on us so i think for me uh Ireland and and Spain are a match that we should win mm -hmm. and that gives us an opportunity to get into the main cup. But mm -hmm. the problem is uh, our results, as mm -hmm. Mona Jiguna is saying, have been wanting. Yes. And uh, going against the likes of New Zealand, going against uh, Ireland and Spain, I think the Spain, fine, the Spain and Ireland uh, games are winnable, but are we going to do it? Yeah. Uh, we, the team really needs that motivation and the determination that, you know what, uh, we've not been... Uh, good uh, uh, recently but we can still uh, get results and that motivation should take them into the the fixtures yeah. and maybe we can we can uh, get some points we, we lost to south africa some more and and uh, the los angeles legs but that we played but we really played well against ireland wales and scotland yeah and that's why we're saying uh yeah. maybe if they go with the domination they need then yeah. the island and, and spain uh, fixtures are winnable yeah. fixtures but remember we lost against samoa yes uh, we, we, we lost against south africa these are big big names yes. uh, in, in rugby mm -hmm. so i think for ireland and, and spain uh we can win uh we can win against uh those teams but the problem comes against new zealand which yeah. will be our uh, will be our opening match yes and i think uh that one we we need will uh, need to put in more effort, deep, deep. yeah, and uh, maybe wait for our chances as you. I, we need to wait, wait for fact, our chances. The fact that um, if you look at uh, the team yes. right now is, is a bit more settled. The fact that we have uh, they have a sponsor now, and it, it's no there's no questions about funds and resources and everything else. So I think that should transpire into the pitch, and and that should we should be able to see results. And we haven't been able to replicate um, the Singapore series where we were able to win the the, the, the title. So I think yeah. we we can be able to do it, but more of the introduction of the young guys that are coming in. Yeah. and the likes of the experience of the Amunde yeah. and the like mm. should be able to pass us through Ireland and, and Spain and yeah. at least at least we should challenge New Zealand um, it shouldn't be that humiliating resort yeah, yeah, yeah we, we right. should go ahead and win this one the last time we were in Vancouver 7th we actually finished the last but this time around seems that the 
the the pool and the seating of the game seems to lack to be on our side. Big names there, Ireland. But when we, we are going against a team like Spain and then Ireland, who actually we met in the Los Angeles leg there, we have won against the Blues books once, and that was in 2017-2018, where we lost to Fiji in the final. What do we need to do to go head-on against the whole Blacks? I think if you look at our game and how we play, ours is mainly about strength and mm -hmm. pace. Yes. All right? Yeah. And now if you go to New Zealand, for them they have tactics that work for them. Yeah. They have big bodies, yes, but they also have pacey players and they have different, they can shift different formations and tactics in the game. Mm -hmm. We lack that and, 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 and we have to admit that. And again, this season there have been introduction of new faces mm -hmm. uh, into the team, yeah. uh, a new blood, and we hope that these new guys can be able to adapt into the league and mm -hmm. be able to challenge. Yeah. But uh, 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 even... All that withstanding, I think for us, we, we need to have a certain kind of way to penetrate New Zealand because New Zealand depend so much on their back line. Yes. So yeah, and, uh, and if, if, if we can we find a way of getting the balls in behind exactly. and using the pace we have, yeah. then we have a chance of beating them. And, and that's why I think what, what the team really needs to do uh, is just to wait for their chance, dig deep, and try to maybe get... Uh, uh, good spaces and, and using the pace that we have, I think, from the youngsters, we, we can we can give them a surprise. We can give, yeah, we can give the, them a surprise. This is the same of the experience of the likes of Amonde and exactly, Jairus, yeah. to be able to be seen here because yeah. it's about game management. We don't have to score 25, 25. tries in the, in, the, in the game. Yeah. We can score 10 or 15 or and, 14 win the game. and win the yes. game. Yeah. Mm. Well, big one there for Kenya. They start actually in Pool C where they'll be playing Spain, Ireland. Kenya's first match will be this tomorrow morning at 12.53 a.m. and then the sec the no the first match against the All that, Blacks actually, it's today. will be at today at Nine. 7 minutes to 10 that's 9.53 Kenyan time Kenya will be playing New Zealand then the second game against Ireland will be at 12.53 a.m. and then at 4 a.m. tomorrow morning we play Spain and that's how our pool C is. Some of the other pool, like pool D, consists of Australia, the USA, Samoa, and Scotland. And we'll be seeing the US and Samoa try to match later. But it is a tough pool when you look at that pool, actually. Australia, USA, and Samoa. It's very hard to predict who is going to lose, who is going to win. That's a group of them. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if you look at those teams, yeah. oh, oh my so God, Scotland that you can say uh, either way, but <laughs> but still they they, they have, have some more. They have some Jones. The Scotland, uh, uh, tough team. Yeah, they, they, these these are as you are saying a group of dead because yeah. if you look the way Australia is performing, the US, you know them, the Samoas, mm -hmm. uh, Scotland. I think uh, this is where we are going <laughs> to see some of. Uh, the, 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 score, the score lines we are saying, yes. whereby you, you, you score 10 and you win. Yeah, and you win the game. Yeah. It's, it's going to be very tough. <laughs> exactly. It's like the games where you, you, f you feel it's, the game is just being played uh, mm. from end to end. Yeah. And there's no really tries being scored it's because scored, yeah. the teams are, uh, are rigid in behind and yeah. they know how to control the game yes. and they understand the game. And I think for if, if you the same question we're asking about Kenya, the, if you see the best teams, they have some technical ability in them. It's, mm. it's not just having the good player, but this player knows when to use pace, when to use strength, when, to yeah, use the, yeah, when yes. they can conserve some energy in the game. And those are the things that we miss. That one was seen last week on the finals because it was four in the morning. I was there with my boys watching the game. 19-5. 100% Fiji is winning this one. There's no way Fiji is not going to win this final. Uh -huh. Then all of a sudden, South Africa pulls one of the biggest surprises, surprises. in the HSBC World Final Series. Again, again, it's that technical ability. And, we, yeah. and I'm, I'm, I'll keep insisting, mm. a team must know when to really be up front yes. and when to conserve your energy. Because exactly, remember, yeah. this, is a game, this is a game that has to be very tactical and it is minute details. Mm -hmm. For instance, uh, we've, we've, I, I, let me give the worst example I would give. Mm -hmm. If you look at Jürgen Klopp and the performance of his team, 
go to Nuno Espirito and the performance of his team. He narrows it down to diet. That's something that we may see it's very small. Now, but, these teams uh, have, man, have uh, mastered uh, exactly. the ways of, of, of finding way to win even in the last minute. Yeah. And I, I feel like South Africa right now are a team to beat. And us as Kenyans being yeah. mentioned um, alongside South Africa in African <laughs> continent, yeah. we should be feeling privileged. I think, but, you know, uh, uh, the Kenyan, uh, uh, the Kenyan um, uh, rugby uh, you know, standard is, is, not bad, is not bad at all. It's only that Sometimes we, we are we are in a deep state. We are ever <laughs> exactly. about negative and everything. Yeah, our but rugby is really good. Yeah, I think yeah. our rug, rugby is really good and it's only that the tactics, you know, uh, yeah. know when to use your pace, know where to use your energy and all that. And then maybe, you, you know, if we've beaten South Africa before. Yeah. So you see they, are, they, they, you know, they you beat know, the, Fiji. The, the current Kenyan coach, Paul Finney, was the 2005 World Cup winning exactly, coach yes. in Fiji. Yes. And now he's here and he's making things. He also got the Olympics coming here. He has got a very large pool of players that he has to select from. And all the way... This is how he's doing. This is the best he's doing, and that's how. In Pool B, we have got the reigning Olympic champions, Fiji, playing against France, Canada, and Wales. Wales actually occupy the relegation spot. Yeah. <laughs> Tricky it for them, though. They might lose. Oh, uh, yeah, this one. <laughs> that's, the, that's the worst prayer they would be hoping to be in that group. Where yes. You have Fiji, and you have also Wales in there. Yeah. Uh, you have, um, uh, sorry, uh, you have Can France in there, yeah. Yeah. who are also very good. So, I th for me, I think um, Wales... I don't see them. I don't see them surviving this season. Yeah. If if the if the draws don't keep favoring them. Yeah. But they really have to dig deep if they are to survive these uh, this HSB season this uh, uh, I, this year. I, I I don't think they'll be able to get anything <laughs> from this group <laughs> because if you unless they get something from Canada. Uh, yeah, maybe from Canada. But if 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 you look. Uh, at Fiji and look at France, I, I don't think they have the capacity to go against them. Maybe they can and get Canada something. Canada is playing at home. Yeah. That's now the, that's yeah. the, the problem. Yeah. If Canada is play, playing at home, yeah. then Wales have a reign for a very, very big, uh, uh, tough uh, leg yeah. Yeah, in here. And they might be going down, as, as we are saying. Well, Pool A has the defending team, that is South Africa, England, Argentina, and then Japan, who are the invitational team into the tournament. So far, we have got the All Blacks leading the series with four points so far, having won the Cape Town and the Hamilton legs, and they are followed closely by South Africa, who won the Dubai and the Los Angeles legs so far. But before we finish off in everything that is going on, back here at home, we have got the Enterprise Cup quarterfinals that kick, kicking off today. Cabral Sugar will start the defending of their title that they won last time at the RFUA against Mwamba at the bouldering Kakamega. And then homeboys play home to Nondescript at Jamuri Park. Impala Saracens play home to Nakuru at the Impala Sports Club. And then KCB finish off with Black Blood at the Den in Ruaraka. Do you think Cabras will defend their title, Fred? I think uh, this season they they look uh, stronger uh, as compared to last season, uh, uh, and I think uh, for them uh, playing in Kakamega will give <laughs> them <laughs> their own ground. <laughs> will will give them a little bit more motivation and yeah. that injection, energy injection uh, um, in the team, and I think they might they they should be able to carry the day against Mwamba yeah. and maybe now. After they have qualified from this, then we can talk because we have KCB in there also. Yeah, oh, yeah that's what I was going to point out. I was just going to point out that the biggest threat is KCB. Exactly. And maybe they, homeboys. Actually, they, homeboys, they, they went and uh, beat Cabras last, uh, yeah. last time out in their, in their trap. KCB so. won actually at the mm. bull ring. Exactly. Cab yeah. Then KCB, Cabras won against KCB yeah. at the RFU for the Enterprise, Enterprise Cup. Cup yeah. But KCB went to the main trophy, that is the Kenya Cup. So those are the matches that we have for you in rugby so far. Because of the Vancouver Sevens, and if you never got a chance to enjoy the Los Angeles leg, because it was usually during the night, enjoy all the trials that Kenya scored at the Los Angeles leg as they played against South Africa, Samoa, Ireland, Wales, and Scotland. <laughs>